Today I'm making simple ground beef tortas. This is gonna be good. To start this recipe, I decided to make homemade pan bolillo. This is a Mexican style French bread roll. You definitely can purchase from the store. And if you want the recipe video for this, I will link it in this video or in the description below. So yeah, fresh homemade bread, you can't go wrong. For the ground beef, it's very simple. A pound of lean ground beef, and because this is lean, I'm going to add a little bit of cooking oil. I should have added that first. And I'm going to season with things like salt, pepper. I'm using dried dehydrated minced onion. You could use onion powder. I'm using garlic powder and smoked paprika. And I'm just going to break all the ground beef apart and I'm going to cook well. So with tortas, I think the most popular ones are probably carne asada or al pastor, you know, the marinated pork meat. But when I'm at home, I love to cook something simple like ground beef, especially if I can find ground beef on sale. And you definitely can season your ground beef how you prefer. This is just what I'm doing today. Once this is done, I'm going to shut off the heat and set this aside until I'm ready to use it. For the refried beans, I'm going with seasoned canned beans. If you have a pot of fresh beans, that's the way to go. I'm actually out. I like to freezer prep my beans, so I'm going with this can of beans. And I drained most of the liquid, and I'm just going to let this heat through and kind of sizzle in the pan, and then just start mashing. And once I mash it, if it needs a little liquid, you can add a little bit of chicken broth or water, and I'm going to let it simmer for about five minutes, and then it's done. So the beans are done, and so is the bread. I'm gonna remove this from the oven. You'll notice I have some hot spots in my oven. I never can get my oven calibrated right since I've moved into this house, so it is what it is. But it smells fantastic, and I suggest you give the recipe a try. Like I said, I will link it in the description below or tag it somewhere throughout this video. So I have my refried beans ready and they've thickened quite nicely. Sometimes when you simmer them and let them set, they thicken a little more. Here's my ground beef and it is still hot. And someone claimed this bread roll. My youngest son started eating it, so that's his. But I'm gonna slice this open and start building this very simple torta. And when you add things and ingredients and garnishes to your sandwich, it definitely is up to you. So I have beans, I have some cheese. This is queso Oaxaca. I have avocado that I'm just gonna mash and spread onto my sandwich roll here. And you definitely can season things how you like. Use the sauces and spreads. Here I have some Mexican sour cream going on and I'm just gonna give that a little smear there. Here I'm going to add some fresh lettuce and my ground beef right on top of the cheese and beans, fresh tomato, and this part, you definitely can add your favorite spicy salsa. I'm gonna go with some fresh red onion. You could add jalapenos, season how you like, and it's your sandwich. So I made this for a late lunch, early dinner, and there's extra bread rolls, so if someone gets hungry later, they can make themselves a sandwich. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.